For example, if I, in a typical paper company, I need water from the river. How much of water I am drawing from the river? Now, this quantity of water which is coming as an input, in this management accounting report of IFAC, that has to be matched with the quantum of water which has been let off by the company either as a part of the product or into somewhere down the drain or it is going into somewhere in the nulla. So you have got an input output balancing how much water I have drawn from the society and how much water I have delivered to the customer and how much water I have depleted by letting it down into a non-consumable fashion. So typical environmental management accounting systems are available which should be built in as a part of the management uh, systems framework. So developing an appropriate effective internal control system in line with this sort of environmental management systems is going to be a, a very major area, the fifth one for supporting an integrated sustainability strategy. Now this ends the second part of my presentation where we find important spots which CFO can align himself in sustainability as a strategy. Now let us link it with the CFO's competencies, what are we today and how IFAC has envisioned that these are the major roles which PIB can play. If you look at the screen what I am showing now, the role of professional accountant in business has been beautifully envisioned by this diagram by the International Federation of Accountants. CFO should be a part of the finance strategy. He should be relating himself to a business strategy. He should be relating himself to an inf information strategy as well as the governance structure of an organization. The roles can be a consultant, he can be an advisor, he can be a member in other roles, non-accountant, he can be an educator, he can be a CEO or independent director or he can be another director. And the range of services commencing from shareholder communication, financial reporting, treasury, stakeholder, management information analysis, risk analysis, risk management, these are all the range of functionalities which a PEB can do. Now we have to link those five questions with this role of PIB. This is exactly what now I have presented before you. We have prepared a territory map or a competency map of the professional accountants in business in the next decade. This is going to be very, very important. Particularly in the South Asian regions like ours where we have a regional perspective, it is not purely strategy, it is not purely financial reporting, it is not purely management, but the regulatory framework in our, area, our countries, they are a pride of the region. In fact, Dr. Saab very rightly pointed out, because of the stronger oversights in our countries, we were not affected by the meltdown. So regulatory framework in our countries will continue to hold or will continue to be a, a pivotal player in the way in which economy is run. So the competencies of the CFO or the professional accountant and business would be an area which is an intersection of these four pillars. That is the pillar of the strategy of an organization, the pillar of financial reporting, the pillar of management, the pillar of regulatory framework. All these four pillars intersect and in that area of convergence we can identify, this is not exhaustive, but seven themes of competency wherein the CFO should emerge in the next decade. Number one, he should be having the competency of performance measurement. Number two, on performance management. Number three, he should become a strategy management expert. Of course, the conventional area of financial reporting, risk management, tax management and treasury management. Now, these are all the seven themes we can put governance as a subset of one or you want to create governance, separate all that are possible. Now, these seven themes would reflect the competencies which can link with the earlier process of sustainability integration we explained. I would give you one more example from CMA Canada as to how they, they have thought of the PAB competencies. The CMA Canada has brought out this competency a diagram of a CFO which says the CFO would be possessing the competencies which is an intersection of all these circles. Again, it is strategic management, intersection of risk management and governance, financial resource management, performance measurement, performance management and financial reporting. All these six competencies within the three coordinates of strategy management accounting would be the competency of PAB. Now these two competencies, these two diagrams of competencies, how do they link with the issues? With what we just now saw in the second part of my presentation. To sum up, 
the sustainability perspectives contain economic viability social responsibility and environmental responsibility relating to the triple bottom line this triple bottom line throws up issues of sustainability which the cfos need to address such as building the business case for sustainability as a part of the strategy integrating that with risk management strategic goal setting ensuring the required information flow for managing strategies value guided decision making and performance key for relating to sustainability and finally also linking up with the financial reporting of sustainability issues which is now emerging as a major area these two blocks on the left side can now link up with the future pib competencies or the emerging pib competencies that a professional accountant and business has to be good in strategic planning process has to be good in target setting and monitoring has to be extremely adept in enterprise risk management process and policy deployment process the process of implementation monitoring of strategy c has to excel of course creation of performance management framework the cost accounting systems for resource consumption not in terms of historical costing but in terms of future structure as well the principles of cost accounting supporting financial reporting transparency and looking at enhanced governance practices these competencies of a professional accountant business if he possesses if he masters them he would be in a position to handle these sustainability issues which you find on the left hand side bottom thus he will be able to integrate sustainability as a part of the strategy of the organization this is how both the fields are beautifully linked and towards this ifac is doing tremendous work of creating more and more uh, guidelines and resources for enhancing the competencies before i end my presentation at this point i would like to uh, give two assurances to this audience one assurance and one small gift to the audience from the safa side one the south asian federation of accountants this is a promise which came as a prompter from dr saab statement also as we need to build resources in this south asian region towards this area so from the south asian federation of accountants we would be willing to conduct workshops along with all the member bodies in all these south asian nations for all the cfos or all professional accountants in, in business as to how to workshops on how to incorporate sustainability as a part of the cfo agenda we can do that we can take this as a as a as a, as a goal in the next one year second i would like to give a small compliment to surya if he is here uh, outstanding report of a japanese company operating in india for the last 25 years an excellent report on how sustainability has been managed in that organization it's a classic model which i am sure you would be able to share this resource with uh, your members as it is a classic piece of how sustainability reporting can be handled by very outstanding enterprises which are thinking beyond the current uh, today's action they think in future so i would like surya to come and uh, receive this uh, beautiful report on sustainability on behalf of uh, safa so that it can be a resource inside the institute of chartered accounts of pakistan so with these few words i thank uh, surya ji and uh, icap for this excellent opportunity provided uh, to me in fact uh, to let out a secret after the uh, safa board elected me as a vice president on uh, january the 21st at kathmandu which was in fact uh, uh, proposed and seconded by surya himself uh, this is my first major public presentation this something which i would uh, like to cherish forever it's a glorious trip to pakistan yesterday at uh, uh, lahore and islamabad it was really an excellent visit i am looking forward to more such uh, visits and particularly in the context of promoting sustainability skills in the professional accountants business of this great nation thank you thank you very much i cannot think of a better note to end a keynote for the regional um, perspective than to extend um, a wealth of information which the icap